All right, everyone. So to define variables in Scala is a very basic step into learning the language. Um, just as in every language in algebra, the variables in Scala are just names that we refer to um, in place of their values that may or may not change while our program is being used. Um, in Scala, we actually have two different ways to um, declare our variables, one that allows um, for change of the of the value after assignment and one that does not allow for a change of the value after um, declaration and assignment of the variable. So an example of the later one um, would be val age oops, colon int equals 18. Now uh, you'll notice different from other languages um, or some other languages that I've talked about at least, you first say what the name of the variable is before you actually announce the type. So in here you say val or our other modifier or a keyword that we'll talk about later. Um, the name, age, colon, and then the type, int, equals, and the actual value here. So we have 18. Um, the keyword here, val, is what uh, explains to Scala that we are not going to change that value. This is almost always used in Scala as a good practice rather than using um, the second keyword that we'll talk about, uh, which does not allow for mutation of our value or changing the value after declaration and assignment. Uh, an example of um, a variable that you, where you can change or mutate the value is var height colon double equals 5.5. So let's add another half a foot to the height, assuming that we're using feet and not metric, because I'm American and that's how we do things in America. We're going to say height plus equals 0.5 to just add our next half foot. And let's print out the values so that we can see them. Um, this is done by using the um, function println. And we'll just say age and then below that print line height. Now assuming this all worked we should get uh, 6 for height and 18 for age so we should first see 18 and the next 6 uh, below it in our output. So let's run this. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to compile. Alright and if we look here we have 18 and 6.0 or 6 for our output. Exactly what we expected to see. So um, what we see here is really nothing that, ex that proves that val um, does not allow for mutation, but if you want to test on your own, feel free to, um, instead of using var, change this to val and see what happens. Um, if we recompile and rerun this, you'll see that we actually just get an error um, saying uh, value plus equals is not a number of double, height plus equal five, um, and you can research these errors and things like that. What this is telling us is that uh, we cannot use uh, plus equals on a um, a variable defined as val because um, it says value plus equals is not a member of double. What it's saying is that we're, there's no um, method plus equal or no function plus equal that is usable um, with a double if it's defined as a value. Um, different from, from like Python and Java, in Scala everything is a function including this plus equals here. So even though in another language this is just an operation, in here it's actually considered a function um, or a member of a, uh, a class or a primitive in this case. It's talking about double and saying that plus equals is not a member of it. So th that is the basic um, explanation of variables. Um, you still have all of your uh, normal primitives. You have car, string, double, int, float, all those kind of fun things um, in Scala as well. What I would do now that you're done watching this, go um, 
make your own values, see um, what functions or operations you're allowed to use, um, see which ones exist for um, Scala that don't, or that ones that don't exist in Scala that do in others. For example, plus plus, I'm going to tell you, does not work. Um, and just see what you're allowed to do, um, how the functional programming aspect kind of runs in play with this. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. If you like the video, subscribe, like, press the like button, favorite it, all that kind of stuff always helps me, especially if you share the video. Um, anyways, to prevent this from getting too long, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.